All right, you know how we do it. It's um, 35 minutes off the top of the hour and we get into uh, the major stories, actually some 34 minutes. Uh, but let's uh, start with the Daily Graphic newspaper and shortly I'll be joined by a familiar face. But we get into the Daily Graphic. A Japan deal revived, we mustn't drop it. That's according to Finance Minister Ken Oforiata. He was having that interaction yesterday. I'll bring you more about some of what he said about collateralizing the e-levy and more of that. But in this story, the Minister of Finance, Ken Oforiata, has called for support for the Ejapa deal to progress instead of being abundant. Now, responding to a question about the deal at a press briefing in the cry yesterday, the minister described the deal as a good one. Quote, good one. That would help the country to raise resources and reduce its debt exposure. Justifying the deal, he said, it is not something that the country needs to drop. That is an asset. The question, Mr. Foriata stated, should not be about whether monetizing mineral royalties or listing the company was good or bad. Rather, if anyone had a problem with the process, they had to articulate that and cure it. Let's not drop something that will be good for us and to help reduce our debt exposure. That is what he said. What is your thinking? As we have the show, we'd love to hear from you as well. A Japan deal. To resuscitate it, to bring it back or not? What is your take? Do share with us with the hashtag AM show. But let me say a very good morning to the man who braces Bernice and Benjamin. Samuel Kojo <laughs> Good morning, my brother. Charlie. What happened? Outsource. With day inside. Yeah. You know yeah. Nowadays, I don't know whether it is, uh, say, I mean, Kwadia, but it's becoming increasingly difficult sometimes to wake up in the morning. It, ah. It's a bit. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you know, these are things that we often do not say, but I'm sure you, you sometimes. Uh, these people, when do they get up? And they are here in the. Charlie. And we are at home. I feel no crime, no be chinimu, you know. Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, for the love of, 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 of country and God. No, do you face so too? Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's. It's painful to truncate your sleep, especially uh, hey. the early mornings. But you have to do it because you have to be here. <laughs> you know, sometimes my guys ask me, ah, but it's too early. I say, nah, you don't understand. It's too early for it's you. It's at this thing, eh? <laughs> Are you? What, what do you think, though, about the Ejapa deal being revived? I mean, there's been talk of it in recent times, mm. and we've heard the finance minister also wade into that, mm. talking about the fact that, yes, it's in the offing, we'll bring it back. And it's a good thing. Mm. You don't throw away good things. What do you think? Um, I'm, I'm going to speak based on what I've asked experts and what they've, they've told me. I, I right. spoke to a lecturer at the KNUST um, at UMAT when this issue came up. Right. And he said the plan itself is good. He thinks that it's been long overdue uh, on how we've been, uh, we, we've not been able to monetize our royalties in the mining sector. And so this presents us a clear uh, path as to how we want to do it. Right. But he thinks that the education on it should be more so that we can all buy into it. Mm. So based on what he said, it looks to be a good thing, but I'm sure the modalities as to how we want to do it is what we have to... But the same Ejapa thing yeah. was taken kind of like reminiscent of mm. the E-Levy. Mm. It was taken to Parliament, Parliament yeah. and it was jettisoned. Mm. And there were so many things. I mean, do you recall mm. the civil society groups yeah. and all of that against yeah. it? Because it appeared uh, this was going to be something that would benefit a few, mm. uh, though it was said that it was our mineral royalties mm. you know, mm. being put into this so that we all can benefit. But certain names and certain places mm. and all of that raised a lot of questions. See, to the, the extent the, that civil mm, society mm -hmm. almost en masse so went the, after this. So the, the question is, mm -hmm. what has changed? Because even if you recall, just to add, mm. the, there were those in the minority and others who said that no matter the framing, mm -hmm. when you bring this, we, we, we are not for it because the whole concept mm. does not work. See, the, the problem about solutions in, in Ghana emanating from government is the... Um, transparency, you know, the lack of transparency of the solutions makes it attract all of this opposition. Because, for example, if you want to monetize our royalties, what sort of consultations went into it? Because I'm sure these CSOs, which are in the energy and, and natural resources space, could have really been of help. Because I've read a lot of uh, things from these, I don't want to mention any name, but, but people have giving out a lot of things on how we can better monetize our royalties. So um, could we have gone about it differently? Could we have 
that because you realize even with e levy it got to a point where there were so many opposition that's where we started to do nationwide con uh, the town uh, halls uh, 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 engagement right why couldn't we have done that before so for example why couldn't we have engaged widely for us to get the best of ways to to go about it and i think but, as well mm -hmm. when, when these engagements are done which should be done prior to you know tabling it in parliament mm -hmm. and yeah. all of that you should gauge the temperature of the country. Mm -hmm. And if the people say, we don't like this, mm -hmm. I feel governments should comply. But it, but it appears, uh, whether it is, um, well, that they, mm. they sort of backtracked and mm. then came back with it later. Mm. But I feel that sentiment ought to be respected. And sometimes I don't see that. Mm. I think you should respect what the people want. Mm. After all, what you're doing is in the interest of mm. the people. Yeah. You are serving them, and if they say this is not the road but, you want... But sometimes there's a caveat. For example... No, I'm not saying all the time. Okay, good. It, it, it cannot be all the time. Because as a father, you tend to understand that if I do this for my kids, it would help them. But you know children will, will try to oppose it from the, from, uh, uh, at the beginning. But if you are true, or you are, you are truthful about what you're doing, and you believe in the outcome of it being in the interest of your children, you go ahead and make sure you do it. So I'm thinking that, yes, we are- And citizens. bear the consequences if it goes awry. Right. Exactly. Bear yeah. the consequences if so, it goes wrong. Yes. Right. So, so they who are proposing this, as long as they believe in it, they should go ahead and do it. If it goes right, it is to your benefit. If it goes wrong, it is to your uh, disadvantage as well. Sure. So I feel that, yes, sometimes if you want to go about doing certain things, we will complain because, of course, if you tell me that you want to go and uh, give my 1,000 cities to someone when I need the money, obviously, I'll complain. But if only you are convinced about it and you believe in your convictions, go ahead and do it. Mm. And then when it goes well, we'll praise you for it. Like e -Levy, they've done it, haven't they? We are watching how they are going to use the revenues that accrue from that. Mm. If they don't manage it well, we'll show them when 2024 comes. If they manage it well, then voila, Ghana, Ghanaians will say, okay, well, you use it well, so we'll applaud you. But if you don't, we'll pay, we'll pay you back. Well, speaking of the finance minister, uh, some other things that he made mention of, at least from yesterday's engagement, uh, saying he, he can't give an assurance the e-levy won't be collateralized. He says is the last resort. You know, we've heard from the roads minister mm. who said that mm. uh, the e-levy was going to be collateralized for loans mm -hmm. uh, in order to build our roads yeah. infrastructure. Yeah. Others uh, did not corroborate that, mm. but the finance minister has come in to say that will sort of be a last resort. It, it, we've also awesome. heard the finance minister say that uh, you know, going to the IMF is not an option that we mm. should continue seeking mm. homegrown uh, solutions. And again, that we are not the only African country hit by mm. fuel and uh, food crises mm. and that other African countries have also been hit. And, this, and is that, where, this is where I have a bit of a challenge because yeah. it's about the scale, isn't it? Yeah. Yesterday when I was interacting on the inflationary rates and all of that, I made mention of the fact that, do you know that right now, when you look at the top five, mm -hmm. when it comes to inflation rates, mm -hmm. we're at fifth. Mm -hmm. And we're not competing with countries that are, I mean, the likes of Zimbabwe and the rest, we know that their inflation has been yeah. in the, yeah. uh, the so doldrums for a long time. We should not be time. comparing ourselves to exactly. them. Yeah. Exactly. Some I, of the I'm, countries I'm told even I can get our, you the list. I'm, I'm told our, our uh, next door neighbors, Ivory Coast. Yes, they, they, they are yeah. faring better. Yeah, exactly. So if the finance minister tells us that, oh, we, we have all been hit, we have to ask, uh, tell him that, oh, but Ivory Coast also were, were, was hit. But they are having a better uh, uh, condition now than we are having in this country. So why aren't you comparing yourself to, to the so, likes? So let me just give you the mm. list. Look at the countries we are rubbing shoulders with. Mm. Sudan, 260%. Bad. Zimbabwe, 96.4%. And we all know about Sudan's economy. Yeah, Nothing yeah, yeah. to talk mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia, 36.6. Yeah, in there somewhere. We look at Angola, 25.79. And then Ghana is next with 23.6, what, mm. we, what we know mm. uh, now. Mm. But just to wrap, uh, Biden, Mark, so, so, COVID. So on, on the, on the Asia project, I think they, they also want to collateralize it for some monies, facilities to develop uh, whatever we want to achieve. Yeah, so, so that, practically a, a that, similar that's, formula. Yeah, that, that's, that's why people are, people are but, but, but I'm, I'm, like, what I'm saying is that if they are convinced about what they want to do, get the people to buy into it. Let the people. But it's interesting, isn't it? Because in one breath, yeah. uh, j just because you say this, the finance minister is saying collateralization of our resources may not necessarily be the best, at least a la E levy, mm -hmm. what what he is saying mm -hmm. per his latest, mm -hmm. but then in a Japa, it's it's a similar. Mm. Yes, yes. Because the explanation they so, give, they've been giving is that okay, if you have hundred thousand today, 
Right. And hundred thousand today can probably buy you two two houses. Mm. If you wait to ten years, when hundred thousand cannot buy you two houses, which is better? Right. The better the the, the, the when better it, one. But it may is be to, worthless. Is, is for you to take it now, and that's why they want to do that. But I'm saying that get us to buy. Let us understand. But the thing is, is because of like today we are we are praising that honest guy. It's because a lot of the times we feel that our leaders are not honest with us. You mean the and, Church of Pentecost? Uh, no, all of us. Right as, as a, all of us. Yeah, yes, yes. Right. Right. <laughs> I, I, I am a member of the Church of Pentecost. I, I am Catholic, but okay. I, I, I feel it is a very good thing he's done that yeah. so, all of so us. So he's a Ghanaian driver. Right. Uh, he, no, no, it's we're, important we're, to laud the fact that okay. he's, he's Pentecostal. So, so, so the Church of Pentecost driver. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm I'm with the ICGC. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I have my family root is in Methodist. I thought you would say three fingers. No, no, no. I'm saying if it should be asked. But just to wrap, Biden marks him. COVID-19 tragic milestone in U.S. at Global mm. Summit. Have you heard? One million empty chairs around the family dinner table, like he mentioned. And that marks more than 999,000 people in the U.S. Mm. and at least 6.2 million people globally killed mm. by COVID-19. Right. Mm. Uh, just your quick thoughts on this. Clocks are calls of neutrality allowance mm -hmm. strike. We're talking about that yeah. Yeah. later today. Uh, and... Afenajan, a fitting replacement for Asamoajan. Oh, I just yeah, wanted yeah. to run those two by you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afena is a is a is a great guy. Roma. Yeah, I mean, if you look at him, he has the potential to grow into a very beautiful, a great striker. And I'm happy he's with Jose Mourinho. I mean, this is a guy who really can train people and refine them into diamonds. Mm. So if he if he gives himself that time and patience, he can become great and replace Asamoa. Because look. His movement on the pitch in front of goal is, is, is exciting. When we played against Nigeria, I said that he was the one who was giving us that hope in front of goal. Mm -hmm. and, and you feel that he's young, but the way he was moving in front of goal gives you that... that it also took that pressure tomorrow. off the be, likes of Thomas Partey and others and, and, who and could Jordan then you. have an opening. But, but mm -hmm. interesting question for you. I don't know how much of football you follow. Mm -hmm. um, who is your best Ghanaian player of all time? You have the Osei Kofis, the, the Anthony Yabwas, the Abedi Peles, and um, then you have uh, the new crop. The, I, I, I didn't see the likes of Osei Kofi and Co, but I saw... But you've heard of their exploits. Yes, but I saw, really, I saw, I saw brief of Tony Yabwa, Abedi Pele, and what have you. And look, I'm in love with Abedi. And I think that he was, our, our, he's been our greatest all time pair, the times that I, I, I follow football. Mm. Next to him would have to be a pair. The way Stephen he, Appiah. Yes. The way, he, Black Stars the way he captained the team. Mm. He brought a sort of... I mean, you know, we're coming from a period where there were a lot of yeah. issues with the Black Stars. That, yeah. This guy came to stabilize things. So I think that that's in line with him. You have... And Samuel Seko. I love Samuel Seko for. Okay. I've loved him from... Uh, because of him, I was supporting Bayern Munich. But then my team, Manchester United, disciplined them. 1999. In, uh, 1999, yeah. Ah! Oh, yeah, a solid guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was head for... <laughs> I, was, I was head for Seko for. Because that day, he, he shone. But, but that day, I, I, felt, I felt sad for him. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, he was mobile. He, he cried. <laughs> because he hey. thought that he had done the job. He marked two players. I mean, the, the last game. few minutes. And I'll, then, I remember, Teddy Sheringham. Yes, and then... Uh, sorry, Ole, and then Ole Ole Gunnar Gunnar Solskjaer. Solskjaer. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, let's get into the Daily Guide. Anyway, um, GNPC, YDC, USA partner. And there's a story I follow for the past two days now. Uh, Dr. Dominic Edia, who is the chief executive for the GNPC Foundation, was in US mm. to sign an agreement with this YDC to bring about uh, skills. Uh, um, uh, they want to train more people in, in, in the oil and gas uh, field so they could get the requisite skills to be employed in the, in the, in the area. You know, the foundation has already started with uh, training people in welding and, and all, what have you. So this is a good thing for them to then upscale uh, or scale up their, their training that they've been doing already. So it's kudos to the team at the GMPC. Now, uh, this one says, juvenile trial for Kaswa team killers. Mm. Uh, yeah, ASMO. Uh, I think that was the 10 year old. Yeah, yeah. They, the they, one they hit with blocks and all. And, and then murdered, yeah, because they wanted to use his head yeah. for money rituals or so. So that, that story is there. We're excited about E Levy, IMF gone. Uh, that's uh, according to the Minister of Finance, uh, just uh, like you mentioned yesterday at his press uh, briefing there. He got, he asked the Reuters guy why he asked whether Ghana will consider going to the IMF and felt. I mean, IMF is not really a first option. Uh, and, and so let's look at uh, what we can do without going to the IMF. E-Levy is good. 
but I've, I, like I was t telling my guys in the house this morning, it is only good when we see the dividend of this e-levy. Uh, we know the monies they are raising. W what are they going to use it for? We want to see the outcome. That is what will give us the confidence that, well, it means that we are now finding solutions in-house. So let's see how it goes. So the minister is good. He's excited about, about e-levy. But we are citizens who are paying. We want to see the outcome. We want to see the tangibles, what they are going to use these monies for. And I feel when I see some of these communications that, that goes around, like e-levy will make sure your child's education is sustained, whatever, I feel that it's not targeted. I think we should have target for the use of this revenue. And I'm and sure that, and that is where they, they stated, they, they mentioned some of them. Right. That why we, it looks like we are trying to lump everything together to say, when you pay e we're going to do all of this. Th this together. is where I have a problem mm -hmm. with our policy people mm -hmm. and our politicians, because mm -hmm. then it's like promising too much. Mm -hmm. You see, when you do that, you shoot yourself in the foot. Mm -hmm. And then people hold you to much higher standards. Mm -hmm. It is not to say that our politics should be shoddy or it should be uh, one that is at a very low level, reaching mm -hmm. out always for low-hanging fruit. But make realistic promises. And I've always said this. And if I were into politics, which I don't like, our brand of politics, I don't like. <laughs> but if I were a politician, mm -hmm. I think I would want to under-promise mm -hmm. and over-deliver. Exactly. Then the people would, mm, this guy is not, he doesn't like to, but you promise 10 mm -hmm. and you deliver 1.5. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, that is the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. keep doing it. it it's it's <laughs> ad infinitum. And that but, is what but, I don't when, get. When I saw the thing on social media, I said, they should shoes on that one. They should just keep quiet. Because it looks like we are talking about, as, we're talking as though E-Levy is going to solve everything for us. And mm. it's something we shouldn't do. I'm thinking that the E-Levy should be targeted. If it's infrastructure we want to use the, the money for, and say roads, let's say we are putting all our e-levy revenue into roads. If it's about education we want to, let's do it. But if we want to spread it like we've been spreading all our resources without any meaningful thing you know, to show for, it's a problem. It, it's really a problem. And, and, and you know, I've been, I've, been, I've been talking about this mm -hmm. that well, the e-levy, initially, I mean, we were told of different things, from yes. road infrastructure yes. to all of that. But yeah. I agree with you. Look, mm -hmm. even if we had got all of the 6.9 billion, mm -hmm. realistically, how much can we do with that? Mm -hmm. And again, I feel sometimes these politicians should be able to come to the Ghanaian people and mm -hmm. say, look, in seeking your mandate, we want to focus on some core thematic areas rather than spread. Look, even look at our, our flagship programs. Mm. How many are we looking at? Mm. 16, 20 or so. A lot of How about we get maybe three, four, five, and see that by the time of my first four years, our road networks are going to be in this state mm. and deliver maybe health infrastructure mm -hmm. and deliver yeah. rather than spread. Of course, you can't also govern without looking at other aspects of the economy, mm. but what is your focus, focal area, so that you can really ramp up? Look, I've been reading a document, and when you look at, realistically, where we hope to be in the next how many years, mm. and you look at where we are, race, a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel we tend to spread widely. Let's, let's target. Let's, let's uh, decide how we want to move the country, and the sort of things we, when we do, it would move this country forward. Then, the widespread approach, I feel it has not helped us. Because look, we have mined gold for how, how many years in this country? Centuries. But when you, when you... I mean, if you're picking independence, but, but it's been mined. Mm. And, and it's important to make that note mm. because the imperialists mm. took out a mm. chunk of our resources. Oh, yes. Yes. And these resources are mm -hmm. finite. Mm -hmm. I mean, post, uh, after 2050, mm. 2060, Mm. If in the next hundred years, mm. there are projections about what would have left, mm. if any, mm. yeah. when it comes to our gold mm. resources, for example. Mm. So if we're not able to do something with it, yes. some generations mm. to come will come reflect on what mm. we did and mm. say these people mm. were failures. Because I've, I've heard the story of we want to make a place like Takwa, like the Joe Beck of Ghana. When you get to Joe ha, ha, Have you been to Takwa recently? Oh, I mean, <laughs> you are, you are you basically don't, a, You don't really feel that we are determined about these things that we, we talk of. I mean, look at even uh, areas like Takwa, mm. Obwasi. Go there and look at how they, yes. are, they are living. So, so it, it tells you that, in fact, when we sort of use the revenues from these natural resources widely, we don't tend to... Maximize the benefit. Yeah, you don't feel it. Mm. Because there should be things that we can point to to say, oh, after so many years of mining, this is what we've done. Mm. 
Can you show me one thing? But, but on, the, on the flip side, the ordinary Ghanaian would also want his or her share of the national cake. I must tell you, if they had used the revenues to say we want to construct a better road between Takwa and, say, Takradi, Obwase and Accra, every Ghanaian at a point in time will have a share because you will drive on a better road. Look, the, um, this road, the, the one in, uh, in uh, Tama, what do you call it? The, one the, in motorway. the motorway. It was constructed, constructed so many years ago. And we are benefiting today. When I drive on it, I'm like, wow, yeah. this is a different road. And we're patching, we continue to patch concrete patch, with, with you know, you know we're, we're, we're asphalt, uh, asphalt and all, you know. all the other But that, that is something that, so that when generations unborn after us come, yeah. they, can be, they, can, they can be told that, look, this is what your forebears use these revenues from these resources for. Right. But today, what can we show? I mean, when you, when you go to Takwa, ah. can you really point your hand to something to show that this is what we've done? Some with? of these places, mining communities look like ghost towns. Ghost I mean, towns. I mean, anyway. it, it's interesting. Yeah. Let's... More from the Daily Guide? Um, anyway, Yoko Boss elected executive member of Africa's anti-corruption institution. It comes with a picture of uh, COP, Namiya, Tiwa, Dankwa. Well, that's one to celebrate for. Let's move on. Well, let's do Republic Press. Uh, UK agrees mutual security deals with fin Finland and Sweden. Sri Lanka crisis. Gotabaya Rajapaska mm -hmm. uh, or Rajapaksa speech fails to reassure as crisis go grows. Mawako in trouble again. Uh, Mawako number one, what I remember, the pepper, mm -hmm. pepper issue, because back then we interviewed the lady in question, mm -hmm. but and now it has to do with... Uh, some food poisoning, but I also hear they have apologized. They've uh, borne the medical bills of yeah, those of, of some of them because they've not been able yes. to contact all of them. Yes. But they've uh, borne the bills, and the and FDA was there. To, yes, the FDA uh, uh, came there to shut down the the place. Mm -hmm. They've taken samples of the food and drinks that they they sell there to go and test to really understand the issue at hand. Uh, and I, I and hear, you followed that story, right? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, they've by extension shut down all the uh, branches that they The have. other branches. Oh, yes. so apart from East Legon, because well, shut down. when I heard you reporting yesterday, yeah. you mentioned that East, East Legon, Legon was affected, yes. but because now it's spread to the, yes, all the other branches. The, when we were speaking to the PRO, he made mention that they've, they've shut down all the uh, other branches. So I went to Abilengpe to check, and indeed, mm. it was Abilengpe also, was also, it shut. Was also shut down. So, so that's, that's the, uh, where, where we are now. Okay. We deserve... Brace. Yeah. Brace yourself for this. Uh-huh. We deserve emotional allowance. <laughs> Nurses and Midwives Association. Mm. They deserve... Ah, but don't we deserve waking up early allowance? No, we, we deserve waking up early allowance. Uh -huh. Stress we do, allowance. We, we deserve stress allowance. We deserve going back late allowance. We deserve neutrality allowance. We deserve what again? Communication allowance. Because, in fact, it's not easy for you to be doing the things you do. And we deserve explanation allowance. Sometimes you have to explain to people that, Charlie, your job is stressful where you don't get time to give them. And we deserve research allowance, too. Uh -huh. We research as well. So, uh, yeah, we deserve research. But wait, where, where are you directing this? Oh, um, I mean... This is private enterprise, or no. not... Uh, okay, well, I mean, maybe, <laughs> What you're saying? Maybe, <laughs> anyway, so... We deserve emotional allowance, nurses and midwives association. Mm. Eastern region, no school building, no vote. Residents of Asuja, Esikaso, uh, threatened to boycott election 2024. Divorce cases should be heard in public for others to avoid mistakes. That's an appeals court or the court of appeal. A court of appeal uh, judge. It's either appellate court or court of appeal, appeals court. But uh, just to tie it into... The legal bit, mm -hmm. uh, or, or what uh, Ejapa is is mm -hmm. you know bringing forth. Mm -hmm. Ejapa deal not dead. Oforiata hence. We, mm -hmm. We've spoken about that. But Kofi Bento describes move as quote grand robbery. Here's why. Mm -hmm. Imani Vice President Kofi Bentel has described the controversial Ejapa royalties deal as a grand robbery being cooked to be imposed on Ghanaians by government. Mm. He called on the citizens against the Ejapa transactions to continue to resist any move by the government to approve it. He said that uh, the government wrecked the country and, quote, wants to steal our God-given resources. But like I have been saying, we must look at the different dimensions. You have looked at some of the dimensions mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. Is it going to inure to the benefit of the ordinary Ghanaian, mm -hmm. that baby born today? that other person who is struggling on so many facets. Mm. If it will, and if it's transparent enough, mm. like you mentioned, yes. then you know, we, we might have cause to look at certain mm. things. But mm. in the state some of us have seen it in, mm. 
Now, be, be, that, I the, don't know. You know, the reason why a lot of people are doubting it is because of experiences we've had in the past. When yeah. government promises you A, mm. it won't do exactly A. Mm. And that's why people are quite uh, skeptical about this. Because if you want to say, okay, I want to collateralize my um, uh, mineral royalties for monies that I can use to do things today than to wait for 10 years, it's good. But people are not, uh, you know, we don't trust the government to do exactly what they, they say they will do. Mm. So if you go and give the, the government $1 billion today, do you trust the government will use the whole $1 billion to do exactly what he has to do with? It's like some of them will pass somewhere. And that's why people are feeling that, well, then leave it. Let it be in the state it is. When it comes, we use it. Than to go and borrow for us to be paying huge interest rate later. That, that's, that's, that's the reason I, I get from a lot of us who are speaking against the Japan. Yeah. Let's get into the next paper. Well, Which um, one? Ghanaian publisher? Exactly. Right. There's a story here. It says, I stepped down uh, as MP after breaking the four at Ayas West Wogon, Chief of Staff says. Okay. It's on page seven. Okay. It says, the Chief of Staff, Akushua Frema Osel Pare, has disclosed the reason uh, she opted out as member of parliament for Ayas West Wogon constituency after seven two terms. Speaking uh, in a yet to be aired interview on Joy FM's personality profile on Thursday, Mrs. Ose Opare said she declined to contest again because she had broken the myth surrounding the inability of incumbent MPs in the constituency to go past the four terms, uh, the first term. Right. You know, I hope most MPs will do this. You set a target for yourself. When you mm -hmm. go, when you say, okay, I want to sh show people that I can do this, immediately you do it. Just say, okay, I'm not going in again. Let other people also come. But, you know, some of them will wait until they are uh, disgraced at primaries. And, and that thing, I think a lot of them should, should take a cue from what uh, the chief of staff did there. Um, this one says, NDC is the most useless, and useless is in court, political party in Ghana, according to Kwesi Pratt. Uh, he explains that it is the most docile and ineffective political party in Ghana's history. Um, he thinks... The, the, um, he cannot understand why he the He thinks NDC, the party is too soft. Yes, yes, yes. Despite having a significant number of representatives, representatives in parliament, has been resting on it all while giving the incumbent government a field day to inflict unbearable hardship on Ghanaians. So that's his reason of uh, uh, labeling the party as the most useless. That they are not doing enough to keep this government on its toes. Mm. Mm. But uh, is, it, is it really true the NDC is a total party and that they are, I think they are doing... They are doing Awesome. Just that, and on, under some circumstances, when you feel they have to really follow this through, then mm -hmm. they give us, they, they give up. For example, the E-Levy. Right. I am sure if they had not worked out on that day, mm. the MPP could not have used their numbers in Parliament. Miscalculation? Yeah, I, I, I think so. Mm. But in fact, they had really kept this government on, on it toes till that last moment. Right. Because they said, oh, we want it at this point. They said, no, we are not giving it to you. Because quick quick question, it. though. Mm -hmm. uh, which party do you feel is more vociferous in opposition, the MPP or the NDC? Um, wow. I have to go back into time. To really, Maybe we'd have to reflect on yes, that to, really, to find out whether to really Kwesi take Pratt what the has MPP. a point or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. 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 Uh, let, let's do Republic Press. Toll workers to picket over unpaid salaries uh -huh. and reassignments mm -hmm. and provide innovative solutions to businesses, government policies, VT mm -hmm. universities. And you know he jabbed Asiedu Nketiah, General Secretary of mm -hmm. the NDC recently, telling him that as a Nemoa Kaba economy in Nasifona, maybe he ought to go back to the UGBS for remedials. In this country, yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. this country. It be, be plenty things. Mm. Uh, but then BNFT, mm. bullish outlook for large-scale gold production. Government to give maiden account of e-levy and media budget. And uh, African Development Bank meetings in Accra to set tone for Africa's transformation and mm. recovery. Do you have a mm. final batch? Now, um, Momo Petro, that's, this is the daily statement. The, the Momo Petronic now witnesses stability. It comes with a picture of uh, Dr. Ken, actually, Ghana Telecom Chamber boss. Right. And this is good news. You know, people were saying that the whole hula balu about people are withdrawing from Momo, it, it, is, it was expected. It's something that comes with these things. From the um, early days, people would react negatively to it. But then as we, we, we progress, things will stay, stabilize. And I think this is uh, good news to hear. Kwabena uh, Abban Kwayabwa joins MPP national chairmanship race. Well, let's see how that goes. AFDB plans Africa's recovery in Accra. Charlie, have you been to? Okay, I'm sure you've been to. You know, yesterday, was my first time I'd ever been to East Ligon. 
Really? Oh, yes, yes. And, and in okay. fact, as the guys I traveled with, I told myself, wow, this is a place everyone should live at, at a point in time. The whole of Ghana, actually, I feel after 64 years, mm. the whole of Ghana should have mm. been better than the plushest areas in East Lagos. Charlie, but based yeah. on if you're just looking at the resources we have, mm. Mm. well, we couldn't manage in the ground. We have not been able to manage. in the ground and on top of the ground. We have not been able to manage it well. The mineral resources we and our human to. resources. We, have we are blessed been, with everything. We have not been able to manage it well. I think we have to go to the the guys in Dubai, and let them give us their blueprint. But but that would so also feed into the mentality that the black man supposedly, and and that is why I love uh, Nkrumah. Mm. The black man can mm. do this for himself. And he, st he showed all the signs. We had the blueprints. And then but we no. did what we did. Maybe we'll have to rephrase that. 24th February yeah. No, we have to rephrase it and say, not uh, some black men mm. can do things for themselves and, and rule themselves. Not, not all of us. I mean, after him, we have... We have they, everybody, everyone was... I don't feel him. we've, we've had anyone like him, though. No, we have shown that, indeed, we cannot do the things Nkrumah was doing. Look at what, the time he built the Akosombo Dam. That time. Have we... Have we the done foresight. Something? Yes, have we done something like the that? The motorway you were talking yes, about. Yes, the motorway. I mean, so, yeah. so maybe Nkrumah, we should rephrase his statement to say some Africans mm. can manage their affairs, not all Africans. Well, we've shown that we cannot, some of us cannot. Look at the resources God has blessed us with. Look at the Congo. Yet. They basically have, I mean, what, a third of the world's resources? Yet we go uh, hand in, uh, cap in hand begging someone who is rich and is begging the poor countries for, for peanut. Where did, we, where did we go wrong? Leadership. So, we, so it's not every African that can manage his own affairs. If we could, we would have been better than we are today. We have gold, we have diamond, we have uh, bauxite, bauxite, we have timber. manganese, we have timber, we have, uh, we've been blessed with black, black gold, oil. After a decade of uh, you know, oil production, what can we show? For, that this is the outcome of it. Okay, I've heard we've, we've put it into edu education, which is not bad. But really, can we really show some tangibles? Education is good. I don't say it's not good, but I'm sure that the revenues we've gotten, we could still get something to show for, to do something elsewhere, to say that, look, this is what we also got from our oil. Mm. So really, when you look at the way we've been blessed by God, Yet we are not able to do the things. I say we be a yeba we be a nea so when you can see that. But thank you so much, uh, Kojo, for joining the news review. It's always exciting doing this with you. Uh, right before we get into sports, I hear you have a bucket list, so I have to do this. Uh, Enoch Tokonu at Bank of Africa IT Department. You have a bucket list for your niece. Her name is Keisha Aram Boateng. Keisha Aram Boateng tomorrow is your birthday and we hear that you Keisha young as you are you are always watching Joy News and also listening to Joy FM so from us to you Keisha happy 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 birthday in advance God bless you up next we have sports Tuesday <laughs>